welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for HBR Season 1, Round 3 at Russia. Currently I'm second in this standings. I would put them up, but I haven't got the screenshot on me. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to link postcom again. So I'm going to probably end up moving my mic a little bit. But, you know, here we are. Cutting on to our first qualifying lap. Which, as you'll see towards the end of the session, ends up as our final flying lap. And I didn't even show the full lap. Uh, we're going to jump to the end of it right about now. Through the final three corners. Alright, run through the penultimate final corner. Nice run. Put into fourth, which I kind of regret. And then I paused the game because I had no audio for a minute because my controller disconnected as I forgot to plug it in. And here we go. On to our next flying lap. Um, six minutes left in this session. Luke goes pole provisionally and we're gonna jump to this corner and we just need to rear end. Oh you're having a giggle man. Then she lost the rear end. Yeah, as you can hear there, I think I think you can hear it there. I complained about it. Here we go. One minute left in the session. Final attempt at getting a flying rep. We're gonna leave it. Coming down the main straight here. Very long run down into turn well. It's called turn two, but I call it turn one. The kink is that's turn one. Bloody Austria rules. And we're going to turn in way too early and just oh clip my God. the white line. Sure, that's quite fine over. And as you can hear there, session over. So we're going to jump to the strategy screen, I believe. Yes, yeah, Nishi one stop. Yeah, here there, easy one stop. Then we're going to go to. The five red light. I'm sorry for this is very choppy. I'm new to postcom and we actually get a brilliant start here as the lights go out. Jumping pigs instantly. Good start. No, sorry, Luke. Sorry, I forgot about that. So pigs do fly. Got a good start then. Yeah, side by side with Luke after after originally dr dr jumping him down to turn one. We leave him enough space so he doesn't get a track limits warning. We're going to run. Right. Oh my days. We're going to run side by side three turn three. Here and kind of back out of it just to avoid getting a warning on that one. Don't really want that. As Luke has a poor run, so I'm going to look at it down the inside, but I'm going to back out of it. Uh, we're going to leave it running for the whole of this lap, but not really much happens in sector two. I'm just following Luke, trying to stick within what will eventually be DRS and making sure I don't lose too much time to the cars behind of Tafakan and Sir Pigs to fly. As you can see, Frankie up in third, already a second ahead of us. Well, me anyway. Well, six cents ahead of Luke. But we're just using Luke to keep us with the rest of the top five. I do have top five pace, but I just had a really poor qualifying, which really didn't help uh, my situation here. Uh, coming through into the third sector. I really hate the chicane we're coming up to. With the flat of sausage curbs, it was so much better. But now you can't attack that inside curb, so it's either on the camp, you either lose a rear end or you go slow enough not not to. And as you can see here, the safety car is going to be deployed into the Nozzle Corner. I actually kind of have a look at going to the pit lane, but I think better of it. As Frankie pits and gets a 5 second time penalty for speeding as it was that very, on very hearts. tight with the pit lane. As we're going to jump ahead to the safety car restart here. Who's out? Actually, no, we're not. We're going to go to do some detective no work. One. That's got lost his wing. He must have spun. Pascal. Track limits. He's got no collision warnings. A lot of track limits warnings. Here we are then. Safety car restart. And we're going to have to go on the final corner as do the leaders. But we have a horrible exit, so we use the overtake to try and stick within the beautiful 7 tenth window of slipstream to Luke. We're up to B4 after Frankie pitted at the start of the safety car. <coughs> and you can see not really much is happening right now. Uh, so we are going to jump onto lap 8, I believe. Yep, into turn 1 on lap 8. Breaking fairly normally, leaving it in 4th. We get on the sausage curb and Spinala into the wall. Fuck, man. Fuck. I believe there I was just complaining about it, so I, sh I shut up in postcom. I can't hear the audio while I'm postcoming, which doesn't really help. But we're just trying to somewhat defend from Tafakan, even though we should. We're trying 
we're in between letting him go and the friendly common. But here we go, we just let him go. And we jump into the pit lane. As we come around the final corner, the Dutch Dodo retires in sector two, which yes. brings out the virtual safety car. Yes. Oh, beauty, beauty. Which, yeah, as you can hear there, I was just saying, that really helps us out. Um, I wasn't actually That's sure who retired at so the much. time, so I go into the race director and Dutch see that it was Dodo, Dodo. Even though I could have looked at the top left to see that. And... In a That's second, gonna we're so going to jump to a time lapse, so I'm going to shut up and let you hear the lose much time Jimmy now. Broadman intro. Here we go. we go back with my ugly ass voice on to lap 16 this is we've caught up to Dutch Duck and Pokemax and we're gonna make a switch we're not gonna make a simple move into turn one we're gonna look around the outside in turn one but we're gonna try and get a Schumacher switch back out of turn one it didn't really happen so we're gonna run side by side for turn three you don't see this in real life but in the game it's much easier uh, we're gonna go we're gonna back out we're gonna go for a Beautiful switch track if I do say so myself. Use the overtake button to get ahead. Kind of dive bomb this corner lock up. But he doesn't have an opportunity to get past. And we're back into time lapse mode now. After spending a few laps sitting behind Pokemax in the DRS, we're going to go down the main street looking to use the DRS to get past. We're going to dive bomb into turn one, leave him enough space on the exit, and job done really. But here we, he's going to come back at us through turn three. Look in the rearview mirror over the top there. Yep, look, red proximity arrow, but he's going to back out of it. And we are going to jump onto lap 24, I believe. Yeah, yep, lap 24. We're right behind Pascal now. And I'm just going to be quiet oh, for a second because you're going to hear a reaction live. That's interesting. 
Oh, nice exit, Pascal. <laughs> yeah, you can hear there, Pascal getting a poor exit. We're going to run side by side with him down the main straight. And oh, no, here comes, here comes Pokey, as I say, in the background. Pokey's on, her way, on his way through into turn one, gets, gets Pascal. They're side by side still, but Pascal backs out of it. And then Pokey runs off, getting himself a time penalty for track limits. And we're going to come across the line here to end the race in fashion, spinning, losing oh. the turn. And you see that Pokey's AI gets pretty close, probably tried to collect My this. hands really hurt up So, guys. in the end, CEO uh, we already spin, won yeah. from tra our championship, before, current championship rival. My hands Luke really hurt NL. up our race, man. Gaining about six points from the sun could be before because this 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 league has a point system for overtakes of the week. So I would gain two points off of that. Because so far I'm winning the vote. I believe it's closed, but I don't have confirmation yet. Uh, I'm going to take this moment to apologise if this postcom has been a bit iffy. Uh, I did have a little listen back and I'm going to say that I did have to turn it up because the game was overriding it. But Hopefully it's been fine throughout the video and enjoy the rest of your days, nights, evenings, whatever it is. Goodbye.